Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Far More Evil Stream here. Here we are on Arkansas of America, and this is by Samuel Batista Modding. 94.23 megabytes downloads. And yeah, this is a map based in the state of Arkansas. And this is a simple map, small map, oh yeah, okay, 94 megabytes to download, so not the most high megabyte download mod map. But anyway, so. Without further ado, let's go over the description, and then we'll get cracking on with this little stunning map. And the goes as following. Welcome everyone to Arkansas of America, a map inspired by the rural region of the state of Arkansas, with its good wood wooded vegetation. The map has a light relief and the mountain range that is found on the map, where you can admire the panoramic views of the entire valley, where the map meets a beautiful lake in the south, the map contains 61 fields. Farm sort of with is all set with equipment, work for animals, and hack has access to the BGA. It is nested by the land where it is located. And yep, so the map contains as following. 37 fields of agriculture, 8 pasture areas we accept your own farm or open new fields, 8 forestry areas, 4 points of sales, 2 stables, 1 for a cow and the other for a chicken coop. The player starts now and it says, hope you'll like it, have fun. So, I think first of all, what we'll do is we'll go over the PDA in that. PDA, sell points in that. And then we're going to slot counts and new equipment and all that. So, as always, time stats will be down below. So, here we are, we're on a simple map, 2x map, as you expect. And yeah, so first of all, you can purchase a periphery for a astounding 10.2 mil. So, this gives you access to the surrounding areas. Got the lake up north, or river weather. Yeah, yeah up north and that. Then you got a restaurant cell point. And you see you can have access to all the land areas and that, so all the cell points and that, that it's located. And also access to the deer, not tier ship, the animal deer ship. Along with that, other places or cells, and a whole vast amount of hilly, very difficult to navigate terrain. So I'm going to give it a go, try and navigate this in one of the tractors you start off with on new farm mode. But yeah, so on new farm mode, you start off with a main farm area and that, but we'll go with that in a sec. Yeah, so just down the road you got your vehicle shop, and you got your tier store and that, animal florestal, and yeah, as mentioned, and your ship. Got your wooden area over here, so this is going to be your, where it says area florestal, I guess that means forestry area. Sawmill, bakery, Johnson's farmer's market, then moving up north, you've got your sugar mill, steel factory, so you got access to all the areas, gas station, carpentry, oil mill, forestry area, green mill, for fast food restaurants are going over that, just farmer market, supermarket, and then heading up north, got your grocery mart, and then your last forestry area, so forestry areas can be purchased individually, as mentioned, yeah, so 65, 8 grand there, 219 grand there, 205 there, but that, trust me, that is worth it. So, where the mapper mentions in the description about the BGA, so the BGA is just here. You can sort of see by the little silos now, or the little BGA points. And yeah, you can purchase that for 49 grand. So, once you purchase that, you got access to the 250 kilowatt BGA. So, yeah, let's go and purchase that. And for the sake of the map tour, I'm going to purchase the periphery as well. Fill price is that overall, it's not too bad, it's not too expensive. Like, the largest one is half a mil. And yeah, so I'm looking at the other ones, 335, 281. So yeah, these are very reasonably priced now. So without further ado, let's go into slot count. So on farm manager, start from scratch, it is 978 slots. You start off with all the equipment, but no build none of the buildings and none of the land. If you remove all the equipment, it goes down to 768 slots. And you can't get to uh, under 760 because if you start on farm manager or start from scratch, without the buildings now, you do leave a massive hole in the ground. And this is where you have your fertilizer, bells and that, so you get TMR already on the go. Also, yeah, you got your bond silage, mineral feed and that, so you pretty much got off everything to start off with that. But on new farmer modes, which we're on, slot count is 1,125, so very good starting in that. So, terms with equipment as well, you start off with literally everything you're going to need to start off with. So, under small tractors, we got the Fent favourite 511C. Under medium tractors, got the Massey Ferguson 7719S. 
got the John Deere 4755 and 7810 respectively. And the Harvester's got the Deutsch for a top liner 498H, which includes the header and the header trailer. Moving on, you also got a Tay Hander, the first in 6.26 Classic. Trailer's got the Rudolph DK280 and the Welger DK115. Cultivators, a simple 4 meter Amazon Sino 4000 Super. On top of that, you've got the Power Harrow, so that's the Amazon KG 3001 Super with the Centea 3000 Super Cedar, so that is 3 meters. Sprayer, a simple Harley Mega 1200L. Amazon for a spreader, simple manure story tank. Mower, you've got the Coon GMD se selection. And then moving on to Taylor, you've got your Ponder Alpine Hat. Winner, you've got the Coon Ga 4731. Forge Wagon, Mixed Wagon. And you've got your Quickie Front Loader, which contains a bucket and manure fork. The Tay Handler does have pilot forks. And then lastly, you got a bunch of Class 4 to be exact. 1500 kg of yeah 1500 kilogram weights or one half ton respectively so on new farm mode you start off with so if i get rid of that sec yeah obviously you don't start off with the periphery or 62 which is the bga but you do start off with plots 2 3 4 10 and 11 so that is four decent sized fields and a selection of farm area in that so yeah, I'm going to purchase that again, so as we do the map, map tour net. But yeah, so you start off with your house net. Open the PD up there on the bottom left, so... Going over here, we've got your chicken coop net. And also what I'm going to do is turn my interactive markers on, so... 360 chickens. There is no custom stuff in build mode, there's no custom silos or anything. Literally, this map is based on every asset available to FS22 normally. So you've got your Farmer 500 and OB 1000 silo. Then moving along, this is going to be your barn. With its own like, little silo now. I think that's just an asset, like a visual asset rather than a functional one. But you also yeah, you've got access to your bunker underneath, which is where your take handler is located. Workshop area again. If you're very familiar with base game equipment and base, base game buildings, yeah, again, you may be familiar with this, but not fuel tank. You can purchase that 25,000 liters. So yeah, I've got a shed here. So don't have my help hand connected at the moment. So I'll turn the help menu on here. So yeah, you got your Massey, you got your John Deere now with the power power drill and a trailer. And from there, we're going to move on up and across. First of all, we'll go to build mode, make sure I'm not missing anything. So yeah, farmhouse, chicken coop, harvester net. Then yeah, you've got your other John Deere with the cultivator there, ready to go in the fields. And then yeah, got your fields over here. Yeah, so yeah, that is it. Let's go across. So yeah, this is where your cow barn is with the manure heap. So yeah, again, base game stuff, so this will hold 45 cows. And you got, you got your muck spreader in there. So I'm guessing story tank. Yeah, it's just over there as I would expect. That's where your story output is. Moving on. Got a bunk silo, shed and that's got a help icon there, which you don't need to be honest. And then yeah, this is where the bulk of your equipment, so your mown stuff, animal mixers and that, sprayers and that. And also, yeah, you got space for two more bays of equipment. Well, more than two bays, but that's a decently lot. <laughs> a decently sized shed, I was trying to say. And then, yeah, got a plot area over here, so you can put stuff down here if you wish. So, I think without further ado, I'm going to hop into, rather than, you know, use a lorry net, or not lorry, a pickup to go around. I'm going to use a Massey Ferguson here, so we'll use this to tour the map. So yeah, I've gone over the main farm area. So yeah, well, actually, well, let's go and have a little expand on... Well, not expand, have a little look at field 15. Oh, actually run over the weight. My bad. Oh yeah, jet wash there. Almost forgot to mention. But yeah, this is a very simple, well done map, and yeah, I'm going to destroy the crops, I do not care. Grassland here on field 3. 
Let's go and see, have a look at field 15. Also just check, yep, no custom crops and that. Didn't think there was an act, but it's also look quickly double checking that. So we'll head up the road. And then, there we go, another open field. Again, DC size in that. Again, all these fields are manageable in that. Like, for example, the Deutsche for top line on that. Very small fields in that, for some maybe, but... For for example, if you just hop onto the game, play, I know, an hour or two off FS, you know, get a field done, harvesting and prepped and all that. Fields like these are very manageable to deal with. But anyway, so we start touring the map, so I think what we'll do is I'm gonna head down to Johnson's Farmers Market, where you got the river and that, and then from there we'll go and start touring the map. So so we start south and then we end up north on the lake net. So alright, here we are, we're down at the Johnson's Farmers Market and that, so it's a basic sell point that uses the asset of the green mill, but again, things like that I do mind, you know. Rather than you know, I always have custom models and that, custom all this and that, shabam stuff and that. Sometimes simple assets like that make a good map and that, you know, if they're done well enough, then yeah, they do look rather well, so to the left, we've got a flickering texture over there, so this is supposed to be the dairy in that, so again, this is, I think, Samuel Batista's second map, I think it is, so yeah, that is very peculiar in that, so I'm thinking this is like two assets mixed into one, because yeah, some weird clipping, so I was just going to do this myself, so I could tell you what these are, so they're not that building. So we got the dairy net, so dairy, which is this normally net, so you got the silos net, all that other lovely good stuff. Obviously, the roof a bit has been changed, so it's not a bang on, bang on, one for one. But then it's got bits of what looks like the bakery net, so. Thinking, yeah, it doesn't have like the chimney sacks and that, but yeah, it's got like smooth edges and that, so yeah, that's pretty much bang on. Again, that's not a bad thing. I'm not complaining about two assets being molded together again if it's done right now, but that little things like that does break the immersion. So, we're already what five minutes in, and I mean, not <laughs> the most. Stunning off first impressions, but at the end of the day, it is what it is now, so hopefully things like that gets fixed in an update, hopefully, but uh, you can never guarantee that. So we're going to turn over here, so this is going to be your sawmill, midder sawmill, yep, Mid good old midder net. You know you can trust someone if their name is midder. So yeah, basic sawmill net. Now I must say about the forestry area. I mean, you've got plenty of trees, so you can make 200 grand back very quickly with all this and that, so... A fairly priced forestry area, so you can make that money back in one go, Nat. Then, obviously, if you replant the trees and that, to as they were, Nat. Put them even more dense together, if you wish, so... Get your money back, so, yeah, I think, for now... Toward the main farm area, so I'm thinking... I'll go across a bit, so rather than go sticking to the main roads and that, I'm just going to go across. Should have looked both ways, but I didn't. And yeah, I'll go outside the cabin and that, because... Yeah, even though I'm used to trying to get into first POV and that, for map tours and that, being outside the third party and that, camera is not too bad, because then you can see all the sun scenery and that, so... I think the, you know, the background of the map is very same, if not exactly the same to the one that's used on on the French map. Earning Grant, I think it is. Yeah, it looks very <laughs> similar to that. Again, that's not a bad thing because we see many maps using those same assets and that, so... But again, yeah, assets are there and that, but it's about how it's been implemented into the game, so... That's all that matters to me at the end of the day, so... I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll head left here and that, rejoin the main road, and then we'll come back across, go down south, 
then loop back up once again and finish off at the lake. So alright, we join the main route, so yeah, we're up northwest of the map, so this is going to be your Groose Mart, so I'm assuming that is a cell point, so point to here. Ah, uh, yep, looks like a cell point in that. Easy drive in. Very easy to navigate. And yeah, not too much to complain. You can go through there if you want. Then yeah, you've got another forestry area just over here. That is a vast amount of forestry. You've even got the little dirt tracks and that, so... Yeah, these you to the edge of the map, and then you can navigate uphill if you want to. So yeah, I'll do that towards the end of the map tour now, when I do my... Conclusion, wrap up, and summary, and give my rating that. Oh, yeah, so we're heading along the main road. So, this is going to be like the main drag strip, you know, the main road, the main uh, collector road, and that. Are you for your town or city, and that? So, yeah, this is where all the traffic will navigate to, you know, getting access to other areas very quickly. So, yeah, we're heading across. So, yeah, this is going to be your carpentry and your gas station. And then, yeah, we'll have a little, again, a little quick spin down here whilst we're here, you know. Should we on that? Very simple gas station over there, or fuel station. So, yeah, again, basic productions, but again, as I mentioned, it's been well done, I think. Hopefully this time there's no like, weird clipping in that. And, yeah, no clipping, so not too bad. But, yeah, so we'll head up. It's not going into first POV, but... So yeah, we'll go across to the gas station. And yeah, that does look very much like, or at least the outside there. Um, here in the UK, a company called Esonat. I think it's a part of a mobile company now, whatever it is, but... Yeah, it does look like an Esso garage here in the UK, that does. Not so much the shop in that, but... Anywho, so yeah, carpentry's just over there. Being asked, oh, do you mind, please? I'll try to do a map tour here. Uh, just yeah, I can beep as well. Don't fucking start with me. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going across and then we'll go past the oil mill, the green mill, and that. Actually, I think we'll start heading down because I want to go to the yeah, I think if we stop here a sec, so we'll head down another four sheet area in that. And I think, yeah, we'll loop back around where we came from from the farm and that, to start off with. Go to the shop, and then we'll finish off wrapping up north. Because, yeah, I think overall with this map and that, as again, I'm going to keep on iterating this as I'm going around showing you all the little assets and that. It's a well made map for less than 100 megabytes and that. Using all the base game assets and that, so that is a good job well done, to be fair may not be the most appealing to everyone that it's a simple map at the end of the day uh, but I do think this is the first map we do have that is remotely based on the state of Arkansas or at least the area around it I'm not too sure I'm not from Arkansas so is it Arkansas or Arkansas saw or saws I'm not sure if I pronounced that right if I'm pronouncing it wrong I do apologize but yeah, so go right, exit 17 for Goldcrest Valley. Not going to go to Goldcrest, not today. But yeah, we're going to head more into the boony areas. Where we'll find a nice little humble deer ship in that. Got a nice, decent sized cornfield, and so you can make um, maize silage if you wish. But anyways, here we're at Cleaver Movers. This is going to be your spawn point and reset point for your equipment. If you come out of here, shop icon is just here. Now, where do you take you there for some weird reason? Not sure why not. And yeah, your vehicle repair store is just over here. So yeah, you got a huge amount of space, you know, to spawn in that. So, actually, how much can you spawn? So, how I would like to do this is use something like this. So, one, two, Three, thirteen. That's how much we got. So you can sort of see, they spawn first of all along here, and then they go across here. So, if you do want to use large equipment, 
you can, because I do think the roads do allow that, because... Yeah, you can imagine like a quad track and that with a massive train that coming out of here. Does it suit the area? Eh, not really in that, to be fair. Yeah, it definitely doesn't, so head over to the livestock market, you know, up this little hill next. So yeah, large tractors and that, maybe a large equipment may not be suitable for this part here. But yes, for like a lot of that, you know, with your animal transport trailer net, I think that would do a fair job in that. Oh yeah, do you have all the voices in that? Actually, no you don't, so yeah, you can go to the animal dealership, buy wherever you want. And you don't have to deal with the like auctioneer like sound in the background you normally get with some apps and that. So I think for that, that on its own is fair enough. And yeah, to be fair, I do get part of where you have Amity ships where you do have all the auction sound in the background. If it's just the animal noises, you know, then fair enough. But yeah, I think sometimes I have that option to toggle things like that on and off because it can get annoying after a while. First couple of times, maybe you're all right, but yeah, it does get boring after a while. But anyways, we're coming up to the BJ in that, so as I've gone on already show to get access to this, all you need to do is buy the land for 50 grand or 49 grand, so that ain't too shabby. So yeah, there you go, got your BJ in that. May not be the most highest throughput in that, 48,000 years of size a month in that. But it does the job in that, you do get, like I just say, a decent amount, so using um, Missy, Missy B's um, Surrey Yard in that, you can sell that for a thousand pounds for a thousand euros, so you can make your money back in, what, a month and a half, two months, theoretically in that? And that's just by using 50,000 euros, or more likely 75-ish thousand euros of signage, which, to be fair, is all that bad. I think what we'll do now is we'll go up and across, yeah, up here and that. What about, you know, using side roads and that, but I think we'll stick to the main roads for the time being. And, you know, as we're heading up to the more northern area of the map, and that's sort of getting a bit hilly in that. And again, I will mention that in the map tour now, we'll all try to climb to the highest point on the map, which I do not know what it is. Could be this, but I think, yeah, that hill, that mountain, that is the asset background. Actually, I want to quickly test that because when I say asset background, I mean like the background foundry of the map. So, yeah, we've hit the map boundary just about there. And there goes our tractor. And. Really done on Stompy. I was going to stick that landing almost, but nope. Oh god, don't tell me I got this perfectly balanced. <laughs> so here we are, and I do apologise if you hear dogs barking in the background. That's my new dog. In my new dog, which is a uh, French French Bull Massif or a Bordeaux Massif, with with my parrot terrier having a having some fun outside in the back garden. But anyway, so, yeah, we're at North again, and I did know this, and did know this when I was, like, you know, coming back, AI worker and that, not too bad with navigation, AI traffic, yeah, you do get this and that, so, eventually these will despawn and that, but I did know this, uh, well, where is it to, like, on some of these junctions and that, the AI do a bit weird things, the AI traffic, I mean, so, for example, here, I've seen a car when I was going around in that. Um, thinking, what was it? It was coming out. He sort of done the left ear. Then did a career U turn to come back down. But I'm not sure why. Again, like. So down at a junction that. Stopping that. Yeah, that's weird. Some weird thing with the AI traffic in that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, they have despawned now when I moved away in that, so. That is a good asset on the game now, I do like so, you know, you don't have just random air traffic building up and that, and, because, yeah, potentially, if you ever play Sea Skylines and that, build up a traffic can cause a game to have a death. Raven will port to the right, 
But yeah, we're going to go to the lake now. I think that's where we're going to start wrapping things up in that. So, I don't think you can go up all the mountains up, especially up north and that, but south, southeast and that, you can definitely navigate that. So, but yeah, actually that is a nice crisp lake, that is. Almost Scotland like in that without the rocky hilltops and that. I thought it was like all green on the hilltops and that. That will look like a Scottish lock that will. But yeah, so we're at North now and actually what's up here again? Oh yeah, our restaurant's help point that, so yeah. Really is just a simple self. I thought come up here, take in the views and that, and I've gotta say, yeah, even though it's using the French map background and that, it does use it quite well now again. I'm just saying it's a French map asset because that's what I'm used to Nat. I've never been to Arkansas, so I do not know whether or not this is really sick in real life, but one thing I want to do a sec is hop along here. Oh yeah, you can go into the war that and actually get yourself sunk. But yeah, so I think we'll just go and reset that to store a sec. Cause yeah, I'm time to start wrapping things up here. But whilst I'm wrapping things up, I'm going to try to climb this south section of the map and that in this tractor and that. Maybe need like a 4x4 ATV and that, like a utility quad and that or something. But yeah, overall, fine thoughts and that, right in that. So right in, I'll say, it's an okay map. It's, again, it's a simple map using simple assets, so... But it's been well done. There is a minor visual glitch, you know, with the dairy factory and that does need to be fix and update it at some point. But I'll say overall the map I'll say it's three and a half out of five. Three, three and a half. It's around that ballpark here, three point two five out of five. Just because it's yeah, it's a simple map but it's been well done. It's well made. Minor or some individual glitches now as I mentioned that. Also yeah I've did forget to mention there are no collectibles on the map. We do have contracts in that. But yeah, I think yeah, the collectibles I should have mentioned at the start of the map tour, but contracts is contracts and that. And yeah, how far can we climb up here? Because you can potentially farm up here if you know you've created your way up here in that. Gotta say, the little massy in that. It's a little massy that could. And I think I may have already got our thumbnail on that for the map and that, so. But then you head up here, it does level out on that, so you can potential farm up here, Nat. Nothing to say you can, it's just in terms with your access, and hitting the border off the map right about here, so... We hit the map border here, Nat. So yeah, it's not even a full 2x map in that, so... Okay, I'll say it's a 3 out of 5. Because I thought, if, okay, let's just purchase this area, all this area here and that. I thought at least let us explore to there and that. It does look like it just, just goes on in that, but... Uh, yeah, it's what it is in that. But yeah, 3 out of 5, decent map, well made in that. So alright, that is one of the four map tours done for today, and it is 10 o'clock now, so... I need to get cracking on, you get editing done, so yeah, this will be out in the afternoon at some point. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this map tour now. As always, if you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form, smash that button, feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're stay. But for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.